What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, just Ari here. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys my basically my wash day routine. I feel like I kind of continued the same routine with this color for a little bit now. So I have a video back then, but I kind of wanted to do like an updated routine for you guys because I feel like it was just time. Let me be your only one. All right, y'all, so this is where we are starting. We are starting off with the dirty hair. Your girl has had her hip braids in for about, I want to say, a month or so. So, um, yeah, we're going to the gym and sweating it out. I know my girlies out there, sometimes we leave their hair in for about two months. I wish. Couldn't be me. But it's time to take this hair out. So the first step we're going to do is basically just cut down our braids. Now, because my hair is a different color than the actual hair being used, I kind of can see where to cut my hair but please don't be that girl and cut your hair off please be careful cut it long enough but not too long to where it's like gonna take forever to take it out so yeah i'm basically gonna just be taking out my hair it took me about two hours to take my hair out because it was a lot of small braids so definitely take your time when you are doing this please don't comb your hair some people i know do just to like detangle and get the shed hairs out but mm, we're gonna be doing a lot of detangling through this wash day process so for your best bet you don't have to have to um comb your hair when you take your braids out is optional but i'm definitely going to tell you not to because it's best to comb your hair on wet hair not when it's dry that's just my opinion but you can do what you want sis so this is what my hair is looking like after taking it out and this is probably that night and then i probably didn't actually wash my hair for a couple days because sometimes when i take my braids out i like to let my hair just breathe and just be and not wash it right away and just to avoid any type of frustration and feeling overwhelmed with having to do my hair all day and night because wash day is definitely a process so i just decided to avoid all of that and you know basically just save for another day so as I, as you guys know i always like to work in sections when it comes to my hair so that is what you guys are seeing me do i just find it so much easier to do during wash day to work in sections because we'll really get each and every hair strand now this next part is optional you guys don't really have to do it but i like to do it just because i do have dandruff dry scalp and all of that and i just really feel like it, it aids in my hair growth and keeping my hair nice and healthy and because i am color treated i definitely love to do this because my hair just sucks up all of the oil but like i said it is optional so you really don't have to but i am gonna go ahead and do a hot oil treatment it just feels so good to like rub my scalp and give myself a massage which also aids in the hair growth and really getting that build up and remember to use the beds of your fingers and not your nails because you can scratch your scalp and really damage your hair follicles so you really just want to use the bed of your fingers and not your fingernails so definitely take your time when you're doing this process don't make the oil too hot you want to do it just um hot, warm enough to the touch not too hot to where you're burning yourself but definitely super warm and then you want to go ahead and add that plastic cap to your hair and leave this on for as long as you like but i probably do about 20 to 30 minutes so like I said, this is definitely an, another way I do my hair, which is probably different than your typical, but I go ahead and get some water and my favorite deep conditioner and just add that to my hair just to add that extra moisture to my hair, especially because I am color treated. I need all the moisture I can get. So this is going to definitely save me some time in the shower and a little bit of time um, with me, you know, just being in my hair. So I really feel like after adding that hot oil treatment, I kind of like to work back and do my deep conditioner first and then go ahead and add my shampoo now y'all i had some technical difficulties <laughs> trying to film this part so you guys will see that the color is looking a little weird the picture is looking a little weird i apologize but i still wanted to add it anyway because there is imperfection in all of us when it comes to making youtube videos okay so um yeah that's that on that so yes after i go ahead and um rinse out that deep conditioner i then go ahead and shampoo my hair and i also feel like this helps with just maintaining that moisture in your hair because what shampoo likes to do is basically be on the other side of 
your hair and basically dry your hair out and strip all your oils. So before you even get a chance to do that, your hair already has plenty of oils, plenty of moisture because you already added that hot oil treatment and that deep conditioner. So your hair is super moisturized. And what this is really doing is just cleansing your hair and not leaving it super, super dry. So yet again, sorry for the, sorry for what the film is giving right now, but it is what it is. So please continue watching because I'm definitely telling you it gets better. So now that the picture is so much better, thank you guys for your patience, um, I go ahead and rinse out that deep conditioner. And then after I do that, I go ahead and add in my favorite leave-in. And this is definitely where I get a lot of my um, tangles. Um, I also detangle while in the shower because I find it's so much easier to detangle my hair underwater. Um, you guys didn't get to see because of the distorted clip, but I did go ahead and um, use a... Um, detangler while I was in the shower that's what I want to say so um you guys don't get to see that part so I apologize but I do use um a hair detangler whether it be a wide tooth comb or one of my detangling brushes and I also use my fingers to really really get out any tangles because like we had our hair in braids for so long our hair is definitely super tangled so we're gonna need that extra help but I love to use my fingers to detangle because it makes the process so so much easier so yes after removing that product go ahead and add your favorite leave-in and then what I like to do is just basically work from back to front and then putting all my hair up into one ponytail putting on that t-shirt to help aid my hair in drying you don't want to use a towel because that also dries out your hair so i hope you guys really enjoyed this part um i definitely have been washing my hair like this for a very long time so it works for me and i hope it works for you let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think and i appreciate you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys back in my next one stay tuned to the end for a final result so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you guys. The result, I have so many videos on how I did a flexi rod set because that is the style I opted for. Towards the end of this video, I gave myself a little trim and all of that because your girl needed it. So if it looks a little bit shorter, it's because it is, but it also feels way healthier. It's super bouncy. Curls came out so dope. So I'm so happy. I'm so proud. And yeah, I feel like I'm getting better at these flexi rod sets. You'll definitely be seeing more coming towards my channel. And yeah, this is basically the result of my wash day routine. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Definitely give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys back in my next one later.